Explain a purge unit in simple words. A purge unit is on a low pressure machine. It is used to remove non-condensables of whatever kind out of the chiller. With low pressure, we operate in a vacuum below atmosphere that non-condensables can get in through just general leaks, right? It's just one way. However they get in, the purge is able to separate those. It separates them by making the refrigerant condense because it is a condensable. <laughs> and the non-condensables, whether it be moisture, air, <clears throat> those won't condense because they're non-condensable, right? Very simple terms here. And so when they separate, the refrigerant is able to go back into the chiller and then we're able to use a little pump that can suck the non-condensables off of or out of its a little chamber that it stacks all this in it can and that's how it can remove those non-condensables now let's take this a step further and bring it into relevancy on the recovery side if you're doing a low pressure recovery something to consider is having a they, and they make these so uh ref tech uh they have a portable purge unit that you can hook up and use during a low pressure recovery so if you've got a machine that has and this is just a, a good safe procedure to to do whether you think you have non-condensable issues or not during the recovery phase, there is a lot of opportunity for non-condensables to get into the system. And we aren't going to want that in there, especially if we're going to reuse that refrigerant later to get that machine back online. And we don't want to be in a position to where at startup we're trying to mitigate non-condensables in the system that may have just happened during the transfer phase of things. So using a purge unit during recovery or even on your uh, recovery cylinders can't or is a very uh, good procedure to have. So that is something I would recommend you consider is if you, you can make your own, I've, I've seen versions of where guys have made their own, but you can also uh, purchase a ready built package uh, through somebody like ref tech. Like I said, they've got one on their site. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I haven't personally used theirs, but I do believe in RefTech and their quality and their tools and what they do. So I'd highly, highly uh, suggest you consider that. So if you're doing a lot of low pressure work, that is something to look into. And at one time, it, it, had, it was something that uh, was a fairly standard practice because many parts of, of the world, these centrifugals will go through a shutdown period and they'll be off for months at a time. Not everywhere in my particular region, we don't have much time down. We run just about year round and in some applications, it genuinely year round. So we just never see those off cycles, but there are a lot of say Northern or upper parts of the hemispheres about that, that do have pretty heavy shutdown cycles. During that time, those purge units aren't really going to keep up with non-condensables in the system, not the way that they need to. And so sometimes having a portable purge, you can come in as a part of your maintenance procedure or your annual startups and let that purge run on that chiller for a little while before you try to do a startup and then immediately go into to surging issues due to uh, the non-condensables that happened over the off season. But again, just some of the things to to think about and consider and how having a, um, a, a portable purge is a really effective. And if you, again, if you're doing a lot of low pressure work, a needed aspect of your toolkit. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've, I've committed, I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do and to be able to educate, help others and grow and help this industry take step, steps forward. Um, so chilleracademy.com, like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page. Uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's what I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, 
then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can, uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you. For all of those that are in the academy, y'all are doing some great work out there. Keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given.